Good morning everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Dawn and where's my other half? Dave's not with me. He spent the night away with our son Joe. They've gone to the caravan at Fendix Fishery and they've gone fishing today. So they'll be back very, very later, <laughs> like evening time. So it's just little old me. But Dave's going to do you a little film of him and our son Joseph at the caravan, doing a bit of fishing, doing a bit of cleaning. Yeah, they did cleaning. They cleaned the caravan over there. I've actually saw some of the film, so <laughs> pretty impressed. My son even did his own dinner, um, and he never cooks. So that was um, quite nice to watch them do what they're doing. So there'll be two videos. There'll be Dave's one with our son doing fishing, and then I thought I'll do one and take you guys with me because we're going charity shop hunting. And I'm also going to go into Primark, Superdrug, things like that. I might not do all them shops like record them because, um, you know, I'm still getting used to doing the old videoing. I'm still shy, even though I don't seem it when I'm talking to you guys. But when you're out and about and you're trying to film, people do give you looks. And I don't know why, but they do. But I'm going to take you guys with me and Dave's going to take you with him and Joseph. So, at the moment, it's just coming up to half past eight, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, so I need to take my dog out for a walk first. Um, we're a little bit late. Well, I'm a little bit late because uh, I slept quite well. <laughs> my dog let me sleep in. Really weird. I did get up for her during the night, and she was still snoring her heart out. But I did get her out. But she has let me sleep in. So, I've got the old uh, slap on, as Dave would say. And I thought I would make a bit of an effort, put my contacts in, and I'm going to go and do a bit of shopping. I need to go into town either way, so why not go bargain hunting at the same time? I'm also going to walk up to two of the charity shops that are about 10 minutes away from the actual town centre and see if they've got anything. That's Sue Ryder, which you've seen us go in before, and also the Norfolk Hospice one, which is much cheaper than Sue Ryder. But I thought I might as well go in there. And perhaps home bargains, because I need to go in there to look for some stuff because I'm going to do a collab with a very dear friend of mine called Leah Williams I think it's Leah Williams I have to double check um I will put it on there <laughs> sorry Leah if you're watching I forgot your name don't know why you're on my Facebook as well but I'm going to go in there and have a look what they've got as well because we're going to do a collab very soon so we've got to discuss what we're going to do I just haven't got around to doing it and I don't really go up that way that much so I thought I'd take you guys with me. So I'm going to go and take the dog for a walk first. I'm humping and hiring if to have some breakfast now or to leave it because I get bad tummy ache if I'm going to walk and I've got big food in me. So I might come back and have that later for like my lunch or something to save me cooking late. <sighs> don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm dressed. 50p top. Was this 50p or 99p? This is my 99p top. I'm buying lots of good bargain tops and I've got rid of a load of clothes as well woke up to a nice bid this morning £10 on a load of car book style stuff that I just did not want and I want to get out of the house I thought it'd be better doing that than taking it to auction because we don't really make much on the auction and I forgot to update you guys on it the mirror, the wicker mirror that I said to you guys that I paid £1 for actually did sell and it sold at the weekend for £77 plus postage and that when I sent that two days ago so they should get it today hopefully they should get it today it's gone to London so I'm hoping these people like it as much as I did because it was such a gorgeous mirror £77 I put a starting bid of £20 and it just went up and up and up to £77 even Dave was shocked so that's another one of my favourite buys that one and the material that I paid 25p for and I got £69 for that just I've just got the got it in I no not really anyway I'm gonna go take my dog and then I probably will feed her sort my ferrets out and then I'm gonna go because I don't think I'm gonna have breakfast before I go I haven't been feeling too good the last couple of days so um yesterday I didn't have much of a breakfast I just had a yogurt so I'm going to I think I'm gonna leave my breakfast this morning and might have it when I come back or something and just grab some fruit or something when I'm out and about so yeah I'm going to see you later. Hopefully, we'll be at some charity shops. I'm on my way to the charity shops. Um, this is 
the 10 minute one sort of 10 minutes we go past a beautiful church though so i'll have to show you on the way back so this is a um, nice area we live in it's our home bargains that one's there and as you can see it's like one of the additional things so over there is the charity shops two charity shops i'll be going to in a minute but i'm going to pop it into my home bargain and see what i can find if i can find any goodies um, but this is mainly for my shopping, not charity shopping yet. But um, it's really hot. I've got a demon jacket on. So I think I might have to take that off in a minute. But yeah, that's the industrial estate. You can just see the sign for the suit rider there. And then this is the home bargain here. Some of their lights. Got some children bits here. And some camping stuff. Some real good stuff here. Oh, actually. Got here, guys. So first shopping, and I've already brought something. That's just there. I got myself a little shopping bag. Got the boys a few bits and pieces, which you can see in there. Um, had a look around. There's some lovely stuff in there at the moment, actually. I'm trying to cross the road at the same time. I was talking to you. So I'm now going to head over to Sue Rider and the hospice place and see what we can get from there. But I'm so pleased. This was 99p out there. And of course, this Minnie Mouse. And Mickey and Minnie Mouse are my favourite. You know that now. So I couldn't resist. I had to get it. Even though I've got my other bag with me, I just couldn't leave it there. I have to get that one. So I've got two now that I can use for shopping. No matter how, etc. So, I'm now I'm going to, like I said, I'm heading over. I just saw a bloke that looked just like my dad. God bless his soul. He's not here with us anymore. He looked spitting image of my dad. I had a double take. He had the long hair and everything. Um, so that was a little bit, not spooky, but it was like, looks so like my dad. Same with Dave's dad. There's a bloke on our estate that's just like Dave's dad. So yeah, I thought you really wanted to know that. But turn you around now and we're going to head to the next two charity shops now see what we can find the first and most expensive one so, no one that they've got down I don't think they're open I'm not sure if they're open because there's stuff outside they don't usually have stuff outside Well, oh, they're open and they've just got it out this is the first I've never seen them do this before like with stuff outside. Look. Mmm. Very interesting. Let's go and have a look. Alright, so we're in here. I don't like filming too much in here. I don't know why. But they're a bit funny in here. So I like these wooden coaster coasters. But I just saw these. These look quite cool. Look at these. One pound now. I'll need to research that in a minute, see if they're worth anything. Little tea set over there. This is what it looks like. There's me, with my bag. Looking a bit hot and sweaty now. Oh, this is an artist then. Ten pound I want for that. See a lot of these. Toolbox, Dave likes a toolbox. <laughs> right, let's go and see what else there is. Just been to the charity shops and I'm having a cheeky little cheeseburger from Munch Bunch here. They're really, really yummy. Um, I've got a few bits from both. Oh, my God. Got a few bits from both charity shops. DVDs from the second one, but I did get a few bits for selling. I'm gonna eat this and then head into back into town. So I hope you can hear me because um, the traffic's right behind me. But I'm gonna get on with eating this. I'm back now into town, and I think my eyes were bigger than my belly. That burger was just too much for me. Never mind. I ate it all, but I'm gonna regret it later. I know that. But I'm now gonna take you up to this church. I'm gonna turn you around. Here's the church. Look at this. This is 
been all renovated. This is St. Nicholas Church in Kingston. It's real beautiful. You can go in there. I think they've got it open now. It wasn't open when I went past. But um, they had this all done up. Um, I think it was last year or something. They finally opened it up. They have concerts and everything. I'll just take you in a little bit so you can see it. How gorgeous is this? This is why I love living where I live because you get all this cultural things and I've been in there before actually when Jay was doing a concert um, and he was playing the trumpet I think it was something like that it's free entry but you know they do ask for donations which is fair enough because it's such a beautiful place That's why I love Kingsley so much and they actually light it up at night, that's what that thing is there for as well. Just so pretty. So, I had to show you. This is the other side. And it's run by the Churches of Conservation Trust, which is there. Like I said, I think this was built, finished building it last year, I think, I'm not sure. Um, but definitely gorgeous there's actually people going in there now like a coach trip or something so, anyway better get on YLCA which is in here this is new it's only been a, what, a month or so so there we are let's see I'm getting that one so we're going to go to number two charity shops around this corner one is cancer and one is pack. So guys, I'm back home. Hopefully you will like the video that I'm going to upload for you later. Um, I'll just show you the stuff that I did get from the charity shops. Um, some of it's for me, <laughs> as always. Um, there is a few bits here for reselling as well. So I'll just show you what I've got. So the first shop I went into was Sea Rider, as you saw. And I bought these. I don't know if they're like little... I'm listening out for the Iceland man at the same time. Because he's meant to be coming soon. So I bought these. Um, I don't know if they're like coasters or the little square bulbs. I'm not sure. But I just love them because they're wood. Of course I love wood. They're not old, I don't think. They're quite modern-y. But they've got like this like a plain pattern and then you've got like a stripy pattern on them as well I only paid one pound so I don't know I, have, I did try and see if I could find any and I couldn't find any while I was in there um, I mean I'm one of these people I do try and research stuff when I'm at the chat shop but you do seem to get people that want to walk behind you and see what you're up to I don't know if everyone else gets that as well but we do um, so I grabbed them anyway I thought I really like them I'm going to keep them Grab one of these cups and um, cups, Coca Cola um, glasses. We've got a few here, so probably bundle them up. And this one's still in its box, which I'm really pleased. Paid a pound for that one. Um, they can make money, I have seen them make money, um, but you don't really see them as much as I used to. I don't know how old this one is. Let's have a look, see if it says. Oh, 2007. So this is quite an old one. So this is. Um, it's quite grubby actually. Let's try and wash it. Um, so this is, what are we in, 2019 now? So it's over 10 years old. Whew. So yeah, I was pleased for that, for a pound. And then, I don't know why I picked this up, but I liked it. So you've got a little nice porcelain kind of style trinket pot. Um, I think I picked it up because it had fishing in. Um, because my fellas are fishers. So we've got a nice pike. See, I do know some of my fishing, you see. Well, I used to fish myself, so. Um, so you've got this nice pike-like front on it. Now, this um, says, especially commissioned by the Pantum Premium Limited as a container for the Gentleman's Relish. I don't know if it's worth anything. Um, but I liked it, so I picked it up and I only paid pound twenty-five. So I'm hoping I might get, you know, it's quite heavy. I might get, I don't know. I'm hoping to get a tenner. It would be nice a tenner. 
but I haven't researched it, so I'm going to see. I'm hoping someone will like it as much as I did because of it being to do with fish, you know. Someone might buy it for their, you know, partner or something. I don't know. I don't know. Then I went into um, the Norfolk Hospice one, and I bought a load of DVDs for myself. DVDs are now at 50p each. Unless they're certain ones, then they would be like a pound or 150. So I got Doraine Gray. I've never watched this, so I'm intrigued. 50p. So very happy. Then I got my boys one. Um, they like comedians and that. And so I bought them a Jimmy Carr in concert, which I thought they might like. They might take it with them. When I go fishing, I don't know, but I bought that for them, 50p. And of course, I love my old favorite movies. Who else likes black and white movies? I friggin' love them. My favorite actor is Jerry Lewis. Oh. But I also like, um, oh, I've, they've completely gone out of my head. There's so many great actresses and actors from the old times and I've forgotten all. Oh, I've forgotten, but anyway. I've got two movies which I'm really pleased about, which have Cary Grant in. So you've got this one which is An Affair to Remember, 50p, and this one's sealed. And this one's called um, Arsenic and Old Lace. So I do love my old movies. I'm trying to... Albert and Costella. That's who it is. I used to watch them when I was younger. Um, my mum and dad used to like the old movies as well. So that's that one. And um, then I did go in some other ones. I didn't see anything. Um, I did do a bit of filming here and there. Some were well overpriced. And then I went into pack and I got this for us, which is just a diffuser for the house. It's from Primark. Um, sea salt and lavender. I love things like this. And then I got this old handmade apron I have sold um, things like this it needs a bit of there's threads in that so I need to cut all them paid a pound for that I might get six seven quid I don't mind that because then it just bolts up your listings and then can I just quickly show you these cute little things I got these out of pound stretcher for 50p for the house um, I put them in the bathroom and they're strawberry and we got cherry I thought I picked up two cherries but obviously I didn't so yeah, I thought I'd just show you what I got. So guys, that is the end of our video, or my video, can I say. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you like this video. It was just little old me going bargain hunting today. But I thought I'd take you guys with me, and the boys could take you with them for fishing, and we could show you them two videos. So I will upload that very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We do post every week. No matter what it is, we need to do you a sales update as well. Um, but just getting the time, getting the time. Hopefully this weekend we will be able to do one for you. Um, and don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up because it does help our channel very, very much. And don't forget to subscribe, not subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Um, we upload a lot on our Instagram so go and check us out on there and yeah no Iceland man yet come on the boys will be back I think it's just going past 20 past 3 now so the boys will be back in a couple hours I think probably about 6 7 o'clock I don't know but I will be back with my Mr Davy. look at how electrics behind us <laughs> this is what this is what eBay is about you find room to put everything and some of it's in our kitchen. I have this area nice and tidy, but this area here is, look. <laughs> so that's what that all is, it's Dave's electrical stuff. Um, but yeah, I hopefully you like this video. I try to really do as much filming as I could around the charity shops. It is hard because you do get people, like I said, behind you and they seem to want to watch what you're doing. I don't know why. I really don't. But, um... Yeah, so thanks for joining me. Thank you, thank you. I always say this, thank you for the awesome comments. We've got some real nice people following us. It's really nice. Um, 
and a lot of new comments as well from new people as well which made our day so thank you very much sorry Dave wasn't here but I'll do the wave from him and he will see you very soon with me on another video so check us out see you later bye